Okay, we got the TIFF kilowatt hour meter KW2203AV and it doesn't have that much resolution to low end. This is 0.1 kilowatt, 100 watts, and there's nothing hooked up. This has got the three phases. Right now I'm using this as single phase. I'm just using one of the current probes and then the ground and one of the hots. And what I've done here is I want to check, the, check this versus the kilowatt hour meter. Little guy here. I'm going to run the vacuum here. This is an Electrolux model. I think it's a G. I turn this on and then I go through and read the number of watts and then I've got here an extension cord from Harbor Freight which is a 10 foot one and I've gone through here and split it apart make sure I don't get knocked in my butt but I've got 10 of the hots going through the coil here and that'll bump the current up by 10 to 1 because I've got 10 actual wires going through this window 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 so when I kick this on about 717 watts 717 watts in the vacuum cleaner here it says about 7.8 kilowatts so it's 10 times higher divide that by 2 you'd have 780 watts and you've got say 720 here so it's in the ballpark this uh, kilowatt hour meter appears to work this is volts kick it on amps. It says 58 amps. Actually that's 5.8 amps because I've got the turns ratio bumps it up 10 to 1. Go over here 6.25 so I'm in the right ballpark. If I go through here and take some of these turns off, let me go through here and just take off some of these turns like this one, two, three, four. I'll put five of them. Okay, I've got five turns in the window. This is the window. So if you figure this is a window, how many actually are crossing? One, two, three, four, five turns. Now I'm going to kick this on. There it is. Say 717, 720 watts. And it's going to read half the number of kilowatts amps are going to be half of what it was the last test. Actually that's five times actual. So it says three, 30 amps divided by five would be six amps. And there it is, six amps. Turn off the Model G. So what you can do measuring current, you can go through and uh, wrap the conductor around the current probe to go ahead and uh, make the reading read higher and then you divide by whatever you've got so one two three four five five turns multiply everything by five now this is a pretty hokey setup I just uh, had an old extension cord I wanted to just check out this meter hadn't been used for a while use it to measure the power consumption of air conditioners and things the three phase device amps volts it's got an output for a, a strip chart recorder, kilowatts, kilowatt hours, cumulative, so you can let this run. It's got a battery backup, 9 volt, so if the power goes off, uh, you retain it. This is powered by a wall ward over here, It's what you use that for. But when you for three phase, you go through and hook this two on there, and three along the actual wires, and then you've got two other probes that you hook on here. And the way this works, if the current's going down from the wall, import source, like from the meter or the uh, breaker, whatever, going to the load, you have the label side up. Otherwise, it's going to read broken. 